pre-calculus. It's a really interesting math class that you can take here in the US. I say math class because some people have a problem with calling it a subject. I used to have this friend who was a math major and he hated the word pre-calculus. He said they shouldn't call it pre-calculus. It's basically just algebra and trigonometry. And he's right, he's right, it is algebra and trig, but it does have some other topics thrown in there. So in this video, we're going to talk about pre-calculus, what it is, and what is the best way to learn it. So first let me say that it is challenging. It is a hard subject. When I took pre-calculus, I thought I was going to get an A, and I did not get an A. I, I got a B, and I was shocked. I was doing really, really well in the class up until the final, and I got a B. I don't know what happened. I really don't know, but hey, that's life, right? You just move on. So how do you learn pre-calculus? Well, you can take courses online, or you can get books. In this video, I'm gonna recommend one book, just one, to make it simple. It's a good book written by very well-known authors. It's the one by Stuart, Redlin, and Watson. It's called Pre-Calculus Mathematics for Calculus. Now, this is an older edition. There's probably newer editions out there. I'll leave a link in the description and you can check it out and you can just get a used copy, probably fairly inexpensively, if you just looked for used copies. Ah, nice book. So this book contains tons of mathematics. Okay, tons. So like you can get this book and you will have more math in this book than you will actually learn in a college level pre-cut class and in a college level trig class. Why? Because if you take a class in college here in the US, a pre-cut class, there's no way they're gonna cover all the pre-calc in this book. Likewise, if you take a trig class, there's no way they're gonna cover all the trig in this book. So this book has more material than you would see in two college level courses. And I think that's, that's amazing. This book was also written by, I mentioned famous authors. James Stewart, by the way, was a famous Canadian mathematician. He wrote the legendary book, Calculus. That was probably, and probably still is, the most popular calculus book in the world. So uh, this is a book that has, um, I don't know, it's written by some pretty, some pretty big names. So let's go ahead and take a look at the contents of this book. Pre-calculus, mathematics for calculus. This is the one by Stuart, Redlin, and Watson. Let's open it up and just take a brief look at this textbook. So this is a textbook, I wanna emphasize that. So if you're like shopping around for books and you can't decide what to buy, realize that this is an actual textbook so you get more mathematics than you would in like one of those workbooks uh, that you can get uh, online for a few dollars. This one's a little bit more money but you get actual, you know, tons of mathematics. Let's look at the contents. Got a bunch of stuff here in the preface. Let's just skip all that. Here we go. Starts with real numbers. So basic algebra stuff here. This is stuff that um, you would learn in uh, another course, but it still covers that content, which is really nice. So if you're rusty, um, you can go through this and it's got plenty of examples and exercises. Plus you get answers to all of the odd numbered problems. Functions, super important. I remember learning about a function for the first time. Um, super key concept in mathematics. Let's turn the page here. Polynomial and rational functions. This is something you would also study in a college algebra course. So a lot of pre-calc, you see the material that you've already seen again. Um, so they just reteach it. Same thing here, exponential and logarithmic functions. This is something you would see in a college algebra course. The big difference between this book and a college algebra book when it comes to these particular topics is the level of difficulty and you can notice that uh, from both the examples and from the exercises. You'll notice that the problems in this book are going to be more challenging than the problems in the college algebra book. Uh, section for section, you're gonna get harder examples uh, in books like this. Oftentimes there'll be more calculator-based problems, problems where you have to use a calculator to approximate answers and stuff like that. Here is where trigonometry starts. So if you were to take a course on trigonometry, uh, this might be where you start the course. It might not be. It depends on um, your teacher in the book, but this book starts here. A lot of other trig uh, books would start here, trigonometric functions of angles. So this is uh, with real numbers. Here's the unit circle, and then here's 
with angles. So two different ways to start. And then you have analytic trigonometry. This is the identities, all the fun stuff, which I like, but a lot of people don't like. It takes a lot of effort uh, to get good at this. Some people like it, some people don't like it. I was always in the group of people that liked it. Systems of equations and inequalities. This, is, again, is another pre-calc topic, but also covered in college algebra. Topics in analytic geometry. This is something that's pretty much uh, exclusively taught in pre-calculus. Now, the parabolas are also taught in college algebra, but here you see them from a different perspective. You look at uh, parabolas that open left and right uh, in addition to the ones that open up and down. So it's a little more in-depth which goes along with everything we talked about for the other sections which are common to other courses. So it's a more in-depth look at the algebra, and then it has some trig. Sequences and series, again, this is something that, again, is exclusive to a pre-calc course typically, not typically covered in an algebra course. Counting and probability, this is a section that oftentimes is not taught or overlooked. So if you take pre-calc in college, your teacher may or may not teach this. I've taught it sometimes. And sometimes I have it. I love this stuff, so I've probably taught it quite a bit. Uh, the probability I usually don't cover just because of time constraints, right? There's only so many uh, minutes in a classroom, and you just really have to cover what you can, right? But it's really fun stuff. And then this is an interesting chapter that's not found in other books that is found in this one. So many other books don't have this. It's Limits, a preview of calculus. So this kind of gives you um, an insight into calculus. And then you have answers to the odd-numbered exercises and chapter tests. And here's just an example of one of the sections that I randomly opened to. So you see it's a very modern book with a modern layout. It uses different colors. It has the solutions and it shows all the steps. Um, it tries its very, very best to explain everything in a very good way. It's an excellent textbook and is worth every penny. Uh, I think this is a great book. People always talk about um, math books being expensive. Like, oh, it's really expensive. I always think that they are priceless because they contain so much beautiful knowledge that I think they're super affordable. And I've always thought that it, it's, it's just crazy how affordable they are for all the mathematics and all the knowledge that they contain. I mean, the amount of work it must have taken to do all this is completely insane, right? So much work to write a book like this. Just a monumental task. And here you can see you have tons of exercises here where you can practice your skills. I mean, tons tons of problems that you can do to get better. And then in the back of the book, let me show you, you have answers to the odd numbered exercises so you can work through it. So I think everyone needs a good pre-calc book. If you have to choose one, this is a pretty good choice. There's other ones. Uh, what's the best pre-calc book? I'm not going to pick favorites, but I think this is one of the best ones out there. So yeah, excellent book for anyone who wants to jump into the world of pre-calculus. Some of these sections are really fun. I especially like the, the hyperbolas uh, and the ellipses. That's something that uh, I taught myself because when I took pre-calculus, my teacher decided not to cover those topics, so um, we didn't cover it. One thing that's missing from this book, let's talk about the cons of this book because we've been talking about the pros. So I noticed in the contents, let's go back to the contents, there is some stuff missing here. I didn't see... I didn't see it. I didn't see uh, any, oh yeah, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Matrices, here we go, yeah. Algebra of matrices, yeah, so it does have uh, matrix stuff. So I was gonna say that when I took pre-calc, we did the matrix stuff, but we skipped the conic sections. So we skipped uh, this stuff. But uh, when, I, when I've taught the class in the past, I cover both, definitely cover all this material. So matrices, inverse of a matrix. So you do get determinants in Kramer's rule. So you do get a little bit of linear algebra here. And partial fractions, that's a key technique used in calculus, in particular in calculus too. So great mathematics in this book. Uh, an awesome choice for anyone wanting to learn pre-calc. It's a beautiful subject, and this book is a great choice for anyone who wants to learn. If you want to learn more mathematics, I do have courses also. They're on my website, mathsorcer.com. My courses are actually on the Udemy platform, but if you decide you want to check out my courses, please use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com. It helps me. Also, I lowered the prices to make them as low as possible, so I'm pretty sure you'll get a low price if you use my links. If you're not a subscriber and you feel like you found any value in this content, consider hitting that subscribe button today. Pre-calc is hard. Trig is hard. Math is hard. It's going to take time, 
There's no like secret weapon that will make you good at it. But, but I do think that this is a very, very good book. And it's one of the Stewart books, right? Stewart was a legendary mathematician. Also, Redland and Watson, they've written a lot of books, but I'm, I'm just hung up on James Stewart because his calculus book is, I mean, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but uh, it's one that I've spent a lot of time uh, going over. So yeah, until next time, good luck. Keep doing mathematics.